KTRS. 651 here, Big 550 KTRS. ABC will have more on the San Bernardino shooting at the top of the hour. And then uh, coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, we're going to talk to a FBI profiler, our good friend Brad Garrett from ABC News, to find out more about that. All right, right now, though, uh, Show Me Cannabis is an organization here in uh, St. Louis uh, that is uh, wants to make a push for legal marijuana, so much so that they're now releasing a new video. Here's the video. I'm guilty of trying to control my muscle spasms and manage my pain, manage my pain. I'm guilty of trying to get my appetite back after going through chemo. I'm guilty of trying to subdue my daughter's epilepsy, epilepsy. I am guilty of treating my pain. I'm guilty of treating my migraines. I am guilty of treating my Alzheimer's. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I am guilty. I am guilty. Medical marijuana isn't criminal. It's time for Missouri to join 23 other states and reform medical marijuana laws. Donate now. Tom Mendel from the Show Me Cannabis uh, Board. Good morning, Tom Mundell. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, Glad to be here. Where is this? Is this going to be on the ballot? We certainly hope so, and we think it will be. I can just about assure you that it will be if we can get the 160-plus thousand um, signatures uh, for the petition so we can put it on the ballot for medical uh, cannabis. And, and, and how would this work? Would I have to get a doctor's prescription? Yes, it would. A doctor's approval for you to um, seek out um, that alternative. Mm-hmm. We have a rampant problem right now with prescription drugs, where I can go to a doctor and I can get prescription drugs, and it's, it's creating all sorts of uh, heroin epidemics and heroin addicts. What's to say that I can go to a doctor and just sort of get any cannabis prescription I want? Well, it's the issue is uh, educating, and that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to get out and educate, and um, so that the population can gain knowledge. So, and that includes the doctors too. The doctors going to have to be educated because for the last fifty to sixty years, we have been in a prohibition that has caused us to lose fifty or sixty years of research on what could possibly become the holy grail of naturalized medicine. Doctors and people who study this say that. Um, you can get the same benefits from, say, hemp oil or a some type of cannabis pill. Why do you need to actually smoke the marijuana? Well, the facts are the the cannabis pills that are, are are synthetic are not doing what cannabis and the CBD oils can do. The natural products, it's um, the. Um, uh, Mylanol and some of the other Marinol and some of the other drugs that are made those are synthetics <clears throat> and they just just do not do what the actual flower of cannabis and the CBD oils are able to do for the human body. There are people who are listening to this right now, Tom Mundell who is with the Show Me Cannabis and you're a board member who are saying you guys, your ultimate goal is to legalize marijuana and this is your first step. And if you can get the medical marijuana legalized, that's the first step to your ultimate goal, which is recreational marijuana. That might be the goal of many. Um, our primary goal is what uh, the Missouri voters in our polls have said, and it's now it's reaching up over 80% of the Missouri population wants medical marijuana, and that's what our focus is. That is certainly not my focus uh, for to extend it out further. We don't know what the future will bring, but right now, we know that patients need this option. We know veterans need it. We've got we're losing 22 veterans a day by suicide, and and now we're hearing up to nine family members a day. That's 31 people out of a, a small so group of people. You, you're saying veterans wouldn't commit suicide at a rate if they were allowed to smoke medical marijuana? I'm saying that people that if given the option. Um, to smoke marijuana have a less, a lot less tendency to even think about um, suicide or anything like that when they're relaxed and their mindset is put at ease. And that's what uh, good cannabis, good, clean, uh, organically grown cannabis does. How, do, how would this work? Who, who, who gets to sell it? Would I be able to grow it and then sell ma- marijuana? If you would be able to uh, pass the uh, qualifications and you would be able to uh, put the money up to have your grow facility or your dispensary and and go through the background checks and everything yes but not everybody um will be able to do that no you'll you'll have to have a license if this passes how long before medical marijuana would be legal 
Uh, November 2016 is when the vote would come up, and as soon as it, the vote came up, medical marijuana, once it was approved, it would take time for the infrastructure to um, get going, of course, but it would certainly get going quite readily, and hopefully we'd get the medicine in the right people's hands so we could start saving lives and enhancing the quality of life of, of many um, Americans and others in uh, the state of Missouri. All right. Look forward. To, uh, I guess you're going to start seeing um, uh, signature takers all across the state of uh, Missouri. That's what, that's what we need. We need sig- a good, solid uh, signatures, and people need to open their mind and educate themselves and gain knowledge so they can have the wisdom to uh, really look at this as something that's going to hopefully enhance the quality of life of Missourians all across the state. Tom Men- Mundell, uh, Show Me Cannabis board member, wants to make medical marijuana legal here in the state. Tom, thanks for joining us. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. 657 KTRS. Do you have an IRA?